Hey folks, welcome to TK Actions V5 quick tip number four. In this quick tip, I'll show you how to make precise off-center mid-tone masks using the V5 panel. Off-center masks target mid-tones that are shifted to the right or the left of the middle tone. For example, if you wanted to adjust the lighter tones in an image, but you wanted to protect the very brightest highlights, you could use an off-center mask that includes the lights while protecting the darks and the brightest highlights, like this selection would. Older versions of the TK panel could generate the basic lights, darks, and centered mid-tone masks, but off-center masks had to be made by doing manual mass subtractions. Subtracted masks were pretty revolutionary at the time, but also time-consuming and tricky to get just the right mask. In the V4 panel, Tony introduced the off-center mid-tone combo buttons. These generate a variety of off-center masks with a single button click, making these types of masks much easier to create and use, but the buttons took up a lot of space in the panel layout and they still had limitations. One of the challenges of the V4 combo buttons was that many of them were very broad and often nearly indistinguishable from each other or from regular lights or darks masks. Since the V5 panel came out, one of the most common questions that I get is, where did the off-center mid-tone buttons go? The buttons themselves are gone, but the V5 can actually make a far greater variety of off-center masks, and they can be more precise and flexible. There are actually a couple of approaches to take for making off-center mid-tone masks with the V5 panel. One is to use the zone and half-zone buttons. All of these, with the exception of Zone 5, can be thought of as targeted off-center mid-tone masks. Let's say I wanted to increase contrast and dimension in these clouds, but every time I try to do that without a mask, I end up blowing out the highlights in the upper left-hand corner of the image. I need a mask that will allow me to increase the contrast in the clouds while also protecting the highlights in the places that are already very contrasty. Sometimes I like to just click through some of the zones and half zones in the general range that I think I need and compare them to see which one looks like it's the closest to what I need. In this case, I think the zone three does a good job of targeting the darker clouds while also protecting those parts of the clouds that are already really bright. Now this zone three mask is a very narrow mask, so if I want to make a slightly wider or broader off-center mid-tone selection, I can use the modification buttons. So I might try the infinitize button and bring up the highlights. And I may also slightly adjust those mid-tones or darks in the mask. And when I get it how I think I want it, I'll say OK. And I have this really excellent, completely customized off-center mid-tone mask that wouldn't have been possible to create with the V4 panel. Now I can add it to a levels adjustment layer and then use the levels adjustment layer to make my contrast adjustment. So I'm going to bring the whites or light highlight slider over and then bring the mid-tone slider back to introduce that that contrast and I want to watch up there in the upper left corner to make sure I don't overdo it and start clipping those highlights even with the mask and let's see I may want to bring the dark slider in a little bit and bring the midtone slider back and try to get just the right amount and once I've done that I can now see what that adjustment would look like if I didn't have the mask so you can see without that mask I would be really overexposing or completely clipping a lot of those areas that I don't want to uh, to have affected like that. So this mask is doing a good job, although there are some areas, especially here in these middle clouds, where it's overreaching and uh, the mask is keeping that contrast from coming into parts of the clouds where I want it. So I can further modify this mask with a paintbrush. So with the mask selected, I can take a white brush set the opacity to about 30 percent and then I can paint just in these areas and incrementally bring in some more of that brilliance and contrast and dimension into some of these areas and I went a little too far there I don't want to overdo that so maybe down to 20 percent for here and through here and then in other areas if I feel like the uh, the mask isn't restricting enough I can switch to a black brush 
and bring the opacity maybe up to 40% and then just feather in a little bit more of the black onto the mask there to make sure those areas are not being over adjusted. So here's what that adjustment is doing to the image and here's what that adjustment would look like if I didn't have this very customized off-center mid-tone mask to control it. And of course, in addition to the infinitize button, I have all the other red modification buttons that I could also use to further modify my off-center masks. Perhaps an even more intuitive way of creating off-center masks is to use the pick button. When you click the pick button, the tone picker pops open and this allows you to sample a tone from the image and then view the mask from that tone. And if I feel that tone gave me the right starting mask, I could work with it. Or if I wanted to try picking a different tone, I could click the pick button again and sample somewhere slightly different. And I could keep doing that process until I found the tone that I was looking for. And then once I got that correct mask using the pick button, then my modification process would be the same as it was when I was using the zone buttons. I'd probably use the infinitize button to increase contrast in the mask and then add it to a levels adjustment layer and then make my levels adjustment to increase the contrast and then I could further modify that mask as I felt was needed to get just the right effect throughout the image that I was looking for. So remember that the basic luminosity masks are often good starting points for making larger adjustments to the light, dark, and mid-tones in an image. But for certain situations, such as mid-tone contrast control, luminosity painting, and exposure blending, off-center masks are my go-to. Generating such complex masks manually wouldn't be a viable option for me, so it's awesome that the V5 panel makes them so accessible. So, thanks for joining me for another TK Actions V5 Quick Tip. I look forward to seeing you in the next one.